The Amara woman is a uniquely designed, strong, essential, and graceful woman on the journey to improve her total body wellness through social connections, health, and happiness, and with a sense of purpose. You're tuned in to My Amara Letters, real intimate solutions to your really intimate matters, advice letters answered live by Dr. Yvette. Hey Amara Beauties, you're listening to My Amara Letters, the show where I get to answer your advice letters live with the perspective on health, business, relationships, and lifestyle. I'm your host, Dr. Yvette. This is episode nine. We're in the Fit For Me series, and this week's theme is putting yourself first. Our word for the week is balance. Let's find out how this week's Amara Beauty wants to level up her lifestyle. Dear Dr. Yvette, everybody who knows me knows that I will give you the shirt off of my back. Matter of fact, I've actually done that several times. If I have it and you need it, then it's yours. There is such an unexplainable joy that I get when I'm able to help someone else. I just love seeing people replace their frowns with bright and brilliant smiles. Honestly, I just don't mind helping relieve another person's stress by simply being kind. Now, my bestie, Billy, doesn't think that what I do is helpful at all, especially not to myself. She tells me that if it wasn't for her, I'd be living on the streets while people who keep taking advantage of me lived in my home. She thinks that I would not be mad or even sad about such a ridiculous situation. And when I think about it, I've been like this my entire life. I didn't think it was hurting anybody. And I couldn't see how it wasn't helping me because it just feels really good to take care of someone else. I mean, at least I'm not taking care of a grown man. Billy can be a little extreme. But I guess it takes that to make me understand her point and I kind of agree with her. I haven't let her know it yet, but what she said eats at me sometimes. Recently, I started doing the complete opposite of what I used to do. And now I'm not giving anybody anything, including my time. I began to obsess over these messed up situations that I put myself in just to please others. Why do I care more about how others feel than how I feel? Why is it okay for me to be scraping pennies together to survive after I've given money away really to help somebody else? What warped mindset do I have where I feel like it's okay to do more for others than for myself? My issue may seem minute compared to the other issues that women have written into you about, but the way that I've started thinking has really seeped into every area of my life. It seems crazy to even write this, but I know I have pretty much chased good men away because they realize that I have an unhealthy relationship and an unhealthy focus on saving others. How do I change a lifetime of self-neglect? Right. At age 38, is it too late to change the trajectory of my life and put myself first? I have to address and correct my thinking process before I'm just left destitute. Signed, Changing Stinking Thinking. Well, this is my response. Dear Mara Woman, the word I immediately heard when I read your letter is balance. Your life lacks balance. Therefore, your behavior is not always consistent with what you really desire. Discerning from this brief letter and glimpse into your life, you allow your feelings to determine your actions. This is dangerous because feelings are fickle. Feelings will lie to you from one heartbeat to the next. People who live solely based on how they feel have no true stability. Luckily, it's not too late for you to change that habit and to start giving something back, really just to yourself. Please hear me when I tell you that it is okay to help and it is okay to take care of others, but you should never do so to the detriment of yourself. Erase the thoughts from your mind that make you think that this is okay. 
You have a beautiful spirit, but you must feel your own needs first. A person can disagree until they're blue in the face, but we all have a place in us screaming, make me feel special. You may not see it, but it is very self-neglecting to only feel happy when you know that others are happy. Other people will be content in allowing you to make them feel special without ever being concerned about making you feel special. I know you've heard the saying, put on your own oxygen mask first. It sounds like something your bestie Billy would have told you before. So let me ask you this question. How do you expect to help others keep breathing when you don't even have air? For you to help others, you have to first help yourself. Honey, the reason you've gone to the other side with giving is because you're starting to recognize that you're running out of air because you've been helping everyone else put their oxygen mask on, but you never put your own on. Aren't you tired? Do you have bursts of energy to help others, but then feel drained all of a sudden when you wanna do something for yourself? Yeah? This just means that you need to take care of you. While everyone else is creating a bucket list, you need to create a self-care list. So let me give you some ideas on how to self-care. You might wanna write this down. Sit in silence. Read a book without any background noise. Take a long, soothing, candlelit bath and add bubbles if you want. Try journaling. Watch videos of really happy people laughing. Listen to soothing music. Get a massage, a manicure, a pedicure, pamper yourself. Make a list of all the things that make you happy and thankful. And girlfriend, find a hobby. Learn the fine art of saying no. No doesn't have to come from an angry place. It's still effective. No must come from a decided place where you believe it to be true. I can feel your frustration, even though I don't believe you know that's what you're feeling. Because you find pleasure in helping others, because for some reason you wanna please others, even when you're not pleased. Let me reach into your frustration and offer you some help. Or should I say, let me help you help yourself. I wanna challenge you with answering two questions for you. What do you really want out of life? And question number two, if there were no obstacles, no challenges, what could you totally see yourself doing even if you didn't get paid to do it? Changing thinking, thinking, the questions you ask, you already have answers to. It is now up to you to act on those answers. So don't waste your time crying over spilled milk. In other words, don't ruminate on what was and is now gone when you can simply go get more. You still have time to change. Okay, stop giving away the best of you and leaving yourself to struggle with the rest of you. You deserve your very best. It was Oprah Winfrey who said, breathe, let go, and remind yourself that this very moment is the only one you know that you have for sure. Learn to give yourself the gift of the moments you give to everyone else. You have your oxygen mask. Before you start looking around to see who needs their oxygen mask, realize that you also need to breathe. Putting your oxygen mask on saves your life so you can help others save theirs. Maya Mara woman, everyone sees your gift of giving. That's all great and fine, but you have to be the one to ensure that you are in balance when it comes to giving to yourself and to others. Balance is key. So as we close each and every episode of My Amara Letters, I wanna to say to you, my dear Amara woman, I'm Dr. Yvette, wishing you life's best and pouring into you so you royally pass life's tests, equipping you to power through life's stress, challenging you to live your best and to make this day and every next day better than the rest. You are strong, resilient, and essential rare, delicate, and graceful, my dear Amara woman, keep loving and living in the freedom of being you. For the complete letter and response, 
Subscribe to My Amara Letters, available on all podcast platforms, or visit theamarawoman.com. For a full visual experience, watch weekly episodes on YouTube, search The Amara Woman, take a listen, and subscribe.